Hey guys, so at the time of recording, it's uh, July 19th, uh, usually I do my live streams on Friday, and unfortunately my internet d decided to take a big steaming pile all over itself. So even though I have a stable connection, like it is running slower than the firing of the synapses in my brain to try to come up with witty commentary. So, I won't be able to do the, the live stream today. I hope I can get this up tonight. Uh, it's going to be a rough one because trying to get anything done under these internet speeds is going to be a nightmare. Uh, but I wanted to put something out because I know Friday's usually like my big thing and I love it and I've been loving Halo. And I'm really upset because Fire Emblem's coming out in a bit so I won't be playing Halo that much. Uh, I'm going to be relying on that for darn near everything. So, I wanted to put something out. And I chose to go to EDF5. I've been playing a lot of this lately. And I enjoy it a lot. It's it's goofy, shooter, almost uh, arcadic, you know, style fun. And uh, we're not going to do the first mission. The first mission is kind of just the general tutorial. Learn how to look, learn how to walk, learn how to shoot. So we're going to go to the second mission. There is a bit of a story here, and so I, I want to fill you in a little bit. It, it seems like for the most part we were like a guard at a base, and we were on our first day or whatever, and we were getting our training when... A bunch of sirens were going off and we were trying to be reassured everything's fine. Come to find out, not only is everything not fine, everything is horribly, terribly, nightmarishly bad. Giant insects are invading and nobody knows where they're coming from or why they exist. And we're, we were mostly focused on trying to not die. For the most part, we were kind of in a civilian role despite being on base. And so... That's pretty much where we left off, is trying to get our shit together. Monsters might be hiding out. Yeah, Stay so alert. we're still in the middle of trying to escape here. Civilian, keep up. Stay close if you want to live. I will be, uh... This is an emergency. You have to join the fight too, civilian. Nah, I'm with you guys. I am good to go. I, I did try to stick with the starting equipment. If you saw, I had already beaten a lot of missions. Uh, I'm going to try to jump around between classes. I'm going to try to jump around between equipment. Just to give you guys a little bit of look at uh, what's going on. And so I am going to probably cut things out here and there. The, the monotonous loading screens, first of all. They're not bad, actually, as far as time goes. But, man, nobody wants to sit through that. I don't want to sit through that. And so, uh... the blast door. But I, I'm waiting to just... The game is kind of new on Steam, although I think EDF5 has been out for a while. The game is exactly like, like I was trying to, to sell it on as being like an almost... Not first person, by the way. I was wrong on that. I don't know why I said that earlier, but third person, almost like an arcade kind of shooter. Like... It certainly doesn't take itself seriously, and the mechanics kind of reflect that a little bit. Let's sprint on back to our guys. I think we cleared them all out. Oh, nope. Uh, on the, on the mini-map, missed one. There it is. But for what this game is, this is heaps of good fun, and it fills that... What on earth happened? Let's escape from underground. Head to the elevator. All right, where's the elevator? You guys are leading the way. The cables are all destroyed. This route doesn't work. Let's head back. Yeah, but yeah, it's so like I was saying. For the most part, this game Since does a really good job of feeding that dopamine rush of progress. Let's the levels are the some surface. of them are longer than others, but they they kind of feel I'll this this really now. nice niche role of just long enough. And it's really easy to get new gear. You get stronger as the as the game goes on. Not real fast. Uh, your HP goes up only a little bit every time you you level up, and your armor goes up a little bit. 
we still have one more trick up our sleeve. But you get there different weapons that kind of add, some of them very similar to other ones, other ones just, uh, just different enough, and some are just absolutely wonky for what they do and how they work. Let's pull out the rocket launcher. And so it, it, it really helps you feel, feel that, uh, that rush of you're making progress. And uh, you can adjust the difficulty settings to whatever you want. Right now I'm just playing on basic normal, uh, which by the way is for the most part incredibly... Uh, I don't want to say easy because you can get swarmed real easy in this game. And when that happens you're going to be in a bad way. But also, for people looking for a challenge, hard mode really does like like feel like it means something, unlike some some other games. And even still, I believe there's a harder setting even above that if you're really looking to challenge yourself. So now that I've more or less covered a bit about the game, and we've gotten to show a little bit, time to time to get more into the story as as the. There should be powered exoskeletons in the hangar. As Can everybody is uh, right chatting it up. Can anyone operate a powered exoskeleton? Sergeant has a license for it. Some of these Leave exosuits, man, this they're really it. cool. I'm opening the gate now. Ah! Oh, okay, no, that's the a hole in the wall. Eventually, you'll come across some uh, some Get nests it. that are destroyable. I almost thought that was, was up there. Jesus Christ! <laughs> so much in here. If I had some of my my later gear, I'd already have this place like cleared out. But it really doesn't do more damage per se. Like like with this rifle, uh, it, it's uh, it does a certain amount of like damage per second. Some of the later ones, they just. Uh, you, you wind up trading like accuracy for a higher rate of fire and because it does enough damage to mow through the smaller guys a lot easier uh, uh, that you, you can kind of rush right in and the accuracy means jack diddly but once you get to the later levels you kind of start wishing your shots were landing a bit more because enemies actually have uh, enough armor that you're not able to just plow through them even with some of the later gear at least the later gear I've unlocked. The enemy. Monsters. Oh, how many monsters are there? So yeah, for the most part, I am Fire random down. guy just <laughs> trying to. If, if you've ever watched a lot of like kaiju uh, anime or movies, uh, and they always have those those earth yeah earth defense guys. They're 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 not like part of any set military, or maybe they're just made up of military from all over the world. They're kind of the guys uh, that do absolutely nothing to the giant monsters so that the other giant monsters can fight and we can feel just how weak and ins insignificant we as humans are. That's kind of the role this entire game plays to fill, except the EDF is more competent. So you as the player get to feel weak and insignificant, but also strong enough to make a difference. Because you do get to see the idea of the swarm. And uh, when you start seeing all your allies start dropping. And I don't know, it does feel a really nice, just fun, goofy game for me. There's a hole in the ceiling! Monsters are coming from the hole! So unlucky! I mean, is there really a... <laughs> Is that a hole? It looked like it just straight caved in. Oh yeah, no, that's a hole. We are definitely going to want to get out of here. I didn't think they'd be able to just bust through all that metal. Like, I mean, just like that. Like, I figured, like, if there was going to be anything going on, it would be like, oh, hey, it's, they've got to eat their way through, like, what was in that room that we... Was, it, it was locked and we weren't able to get in there. Keep moving forward. I really want to pick up every single green box that comes my way. That's, That's where you get all your new uh, weapons. Fun than Just... All those sweet unlockables. 
probably reload Behind my rocket launcher blast too. Door. Gotta be able there to get that big damage. So I'm not going to be doing a full playthrough of this. I'm just going to be doing probably now. a pretty lengthy uh, video. Uh, kind of on par with what I'd normally do on a live stream. I'm sure there are tons of monsters on the other side of the door. But, you know, Ready? couldn't do a live stream tonight. Feels bad. Huh? Alright, I was a little trigger happy. Glad Scary. there weren't, like, allies on this oh, side. Grief. I'd feel pretty Let's bad about on. my decisions right there. Yeah, so every one of them was just like, oh, you know this place is going to be loaded. Why isn't there any contact from the ground force? They must be busy prepping the rescue teams now. Stupid things. Or, you know, uh, the, the more likely outcome if they're soon. dealing with what we're they dealing with. Because these are clearly the coming from now. up from somewhere. Sounds good. Please, Any more allies? They must be, like, up that way somewhere, because they weren't down here. They'd be with us if they were. Unless they nice also wanted to be incredibly ground. unintelligent. Maybe something happened. No matter what happened, their situation can't be worse than ours. You sound like uh, a real negative man. The we'll be their situation can't be worse than ours. Like I said, these are coming from up there. Maybe the monsters are biological weapons created by another nation. That's ridiculous. No, no I'll be honest. That, that actually sounds like a pretty good theory. That that is a very fair running theory. Nations have tried crazier shit in the past. And they ended up eating all the food. Unlike machines, living creatures can reproduce. Hey, wait a minute. Are you saying that there will be more monsters? And the idea of just a bunch of these giant ants just coming out of nowhere and just wrecking house. Transferring to Sergeant, you are okay. I'm going to the surface. Open the blast door. Like realistically, man, like the insect kingdom has so much crazy shit going for it. If they were bigger, it'd be a massive threat. And at their size, like, humans are, like, a great meal size. Alright, let's clear it out. It's gonna rush right in. I should have enough health that I can take a couple of hits pretty easily. No, don't calm down. Rush in with reckless abandon and kick ass and take names. I am stuck. There we go. If, if you are, like, out there and you're looking for a game to just kill time with, levels are uh, only a couple of minutes each, I couldn't not recommend this game. It is a little bit pricey for what it is, but you do wind up getting a lot of uh, new gear, and I do really want to show you guys some of the different classes, so if you have a different play style that you want to go for, like, this, this game can fill so many voids for uh, for optional ways to play. Holy. We'll okay. be fine once we get back to the surface. Lucky today. All right, we're all loaded up. But yeah, it's the game just feels fun to play. And since uh, I mentioned that good dopamine rush after realizing I couldn't live stream and uh, the week I had I was we'll so ready for we're that. on the surface. Now move it. Oh, and then coming up is gonna be uh I know it's coming up. Which would be a great time to try one of my other favorite classes. We'll get to that in a minute. Alright, so the class I loaded up this time is an all female team. They get some uh some fun flight skills. And this one, the way I had it set up. I either want to be up close or very far away. So I'm going to fly right in everybody's faces. They kind of have a setup to be an all-woman's team, so I don't really get to pick the uh, the character model or anything like that. But, I mean, look, it doesn't really matter. I'm here to shoot insects 
and save the day. Where's that green box? I know there was one earlier. There it is. Let's reload that. And I've got the uh, the big rifle here. Oh. For some reason, I thought it was gonna have uh, have a scope. Apparently, it doesn't. They killed my comrade. Time for revenge. Oh, geez, I was not paying attention to these guys coming in. Can't believe that the powered exoskeleton can't be activated in such a So this is my big bolt shooter. Carves through a lot of enemies. Kind of a bit like like a rifle shotgun. Oh, geez, uh, I ran out of my my charge. That puts me in a rough spot. I mean, your guys is, is, but technically I'm supposed to be like a civilian guard. Or civilian in comparison. I suppose a guard really isn't quite fully civilian. But we clearly weren't intended to be of the military force that the EDF is. God, I want one of those so bad. I, I haven't unlocked one yet, but I'm willing to bet that it's something you can get. Get away from me. I am admiring my mech. My soon-to-be mech, because I want one so bad. They look so pretty. Look, you know I like my robot boys. Man, you got ones with... I bet those things, like, you can wield all sorts of weapons, but these guys... I like that. That is like, that is my kink right there. Leave me alone. Where the hell are these other guys coming from? I don't think I can get in these yet. No, I don't think I can. So let's start unloading on these guys at a little bit farther distance with this. And by the time it becomes... A necessity to reload. I'm hoping they're a lot more focused in on me and I can tear through them with this. This is a great cloud crowd. Although, not when I run out of my... Yeah. Oh, I am hurt. Get me out of here. I made the mistake of charging in without... Without enough of my uh, energy. I'd be, I'm a lot better off this time, but that first charge was a mistake. There's some health here. Gonna want to pick that up. Yeah, they really didn't do nearly as much as I expected they would when I saw that red bar, which I've got right now, but there's so few of them this time that I like my chances of facing them down even without my flight a lot more. This is a special news flash. There have been accounts of UFO sightings Start everywhere across the globe. through the corpses here. And this the, time, the bodies the that they leave behind actually do kind of affect According to eyewitnesses, the game? they saw flying objects made of metal. For now, the identity of these objects remains unclear. Oh, we did see those. There yeah, are there they are. Of sightings coming from everywhere. It Full is on UFOs. That there are multiple UFOs flying in different areas. So, it's kind of implied so far that these are coming from outer space. Which makes a lot more sense than nobody just knew about them. So I, I can I can get behind that. And you guys still having trouble with that? All right, let's reload these activated. before they close Power in for their last team. one. Engage. Cause this is gonna be a rough one. Man, the bull shooter takes so much to recharge. Oh, but the big boys are up! No, I'm no, I'm coming over here. Oh, you sexy, glorious mechs. I'm like a firefly to his, uh, to his giant... Yes. <laughs> He's like a big Hercules beetle and I'm just a little firefly bouncing around. Causing havoc. Oh boy. Nope. Stay grounded a little bit. I need to save that, uh... Save my ability to fly to give myself some distance when I need to reload. God, 
this feels so just classic arcade feeling, but with a lot more of a modern take. Like, there's no way this would have been a thing back in the 90s or the early 90s in, in the arcade era. Or even the 80s when the arcades were actually everywhere. But it just has that feel and I love it so much. So there is one more class that I'm not going to show you. This is the last one we're going to go over. I just land right on somebody. Gotta love that quality voice acting, right? Alright, so that's not going to do much. But there we go. Now we've got our Gatling gun going. That should tear right through that. There we go. Yeah, the, the last... I haven't played this character at all, but I, I played on the uh, on the fourth one. The flame revolver is really not doing much. There, oh boy, that has got some kick. I have to stick to the shotgun on this one. the The last class that I don't have anything going for is the air support team. And the only reason I'm not going to play that in this video to, to show off what it's capable of is because I am god awful with it. Let's reload everything. This is a follow up report on the UFOs. A monster has appeared in the same area where a UFO was previously sighted. That Gatling to be does the job long, so well. Extremely aggressive and will most likely attack humans. Stay tuned for more Also, updates. these, uh... Alright, no, not from that distance. These characters, uh, later on, the armor actually changes for a lot of them. Because you kind of become an actual part of the EDF. Nope. Get out of here. Alright, gonna have to move the, the mods here for a bit. Nope, get me out of there. And so you'll, you get like the, the much better quality gear and equipment. And it does give you a much different look. Right, I gotta aim way down for this. I wanna try the flamethrower. But it kicks so hard. Like it really makes it feel like you've gotta fight that just big outpouring of fire. Punch through their bodies with that. Come on. Yeah, there we go. So I'm not a big fan of these guys because they are so slow and bulky. But this game supports multiplayer and I think they would have a huge, huge, uh, well-welcomed role in, in multiplayer. Their ability to just constantly unleash heavy damage. Come on, try to punch you guys with that. Not quite working for me. There we go. Can I fire that while in the air? I think I can. Alright, I gotta see if I can maybe hit this thing with this bunker spear. Oh, I can! And that made, some, made a real big impact. You know, like I said, I played these guys in uh, 4.1 when that was uh, out on PC. This is one of those games that I like to play in my downtime. They play a lot smoother in this one. Like this, this does feel like a lot more uh, well responsive of the class. They, you don't want me to fight this, right? We're evacuating. Good job. I mean, I'd be down for it. Give me my, give me my soldier boy back. All right, and so I've cut this out for the most part, and this is just what it looks like when you, for for what you get for playing the character. I got more HP and uh, my armor. Okay, so on this one, it was the armor for all of them. Uh, and I got some fencer gear. I got an air raider uh, item. Once again, I've tried the air raiders. Not my cup of tea, but once again, in multiplayer, they 
they'd be pretty nice. Everything kind of feels like it would have a great role in multiplayer. But yeah, look guys, I'm sorry I wasn't able to get to the live stream. And this is the most rushed thing I probably could have put out just to get something out. But I wanted to let you guys know why there's not going to be a live stream tonight. And hopefully you guys got to see something about a game that maybe you didn't know about. And uh, I really hope, if you like it, you pick it up and check it out. It's a fun game. It is a little bit pricey, so I completely understand that being a huge turnoff for some people. Uh, but yeah, you know, like, like usual, have a good weekend, and uh, I hope to see you next time.